Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is uh, Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on for another um, tutorial on how to play the games in my new book. So this is part two where we'll be uh, playing some of the um, cash envelope games in this um, tutorial here. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. All right, guys. So I have my um, savers tracker opened up here. And um, the last game that we played was the guy gas. And we're going to be starting with the grocery list to, do, to start our tutorial off. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my tracker off to the side in case we need it. All right. Like I said, you'll be coming on, you'll be marking down how much, you know, you're going to be playing with today if you wanted to or into your tracker, you, either way, for your 100 ways to save. Okay, guys? If you want to color in some envelopes there or just do it like that, like, we might pay like $30, I'll say 20 plus a 10. Like, I'll color those two in if I was playing right now, okay? <laughs> Maybe, but we'll see, guys. I don't know how much it's going to be. All right. All right, so here, so here we go. We, we got our grocery store opened up, okay? We got our cashier right there. And what you're going to need for this game, you're going to need a calculator. And you're definitely going to need a piece of paper, okay, to play this. All right, and a pen. <laughs> need a pen, all right. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is, like, you think about, like, you're, you'll be stuffing your cash envelope. So, like I said, my grocery budget for the um, week is $100, okay? So, I'm going to take $100. 20, 40, 60, 81, okay? So 20, 40, 60, 81. So this is my prop money, but I'm going to act like I'm stuffing my wallet. I don't have my cash wallet up here, but this is the money I'm playing with. So I'm not going over this anyway, but we're just going to... We're going to stuff our wallet, our $100, and we're going to have fun, and we're going to play some games to say that we put $100 into our cash envelope, you know, because it's fun, okay? <laughs> okay, so for each shopping trip, you have to take six spins, six rolls to see what you're getting from the store, okay? So we're just going to write down one through six here. Kind of like how I do my pressure luck, guys, and you can write your, so you remember your amount, you can write those down as well. But let's just go shopping. So uh, here we go for our first roll. We're going to roll, get a color, color color dice and a black dice. You need a 10 sided die, guys. Actually, we're going to see what we're getting first. And we're going to start adding our totals up, okay? So we got, uh, no, that's the wrong one, color. We got yellow, and then we got a 10, okay? So on the aisle, yellow is out six. And then we're going to come all the way down to the bottom for 10. So we are getting uh, some salmon steaks, it looks like right here, salmon steaks, okay? So we're going to mark off our salmon steaks with the X, okay? And then we're going to um, record $10. And then we can put salmon steaks, this is our grocery list, okay? If we wanna write it down, actually, but you don't have to write the number, we just keep track of the, the amount, okay? That's what we're gonna need at the end, okay? And then we're gonna take our next row, and we got yellow again, aisle four, more meat. And we got four this time. And so this time, I think that's uh, bacon maybe. Okay, we're getting some bacon. And it's got, worth $4. And we'll write it down. Okay, let's roll again. Third roll. All right, we got blue and number six. So aisle number two and number six will be bananas. We're going to write down $6 for our bananas. Okay. This time green at five, out three, and then five. We get we are getting some uh, sugar, okay? For five dollars, we getting some sugar, and then we're taking our final roll for for our first um, go around. So we got out two blue, and we're getting number two. So we're getting some corn, guys. Okay, so two dollars for corn. Okay, so we're gonna add up our total to see how much that is so far. Four plus six. Plus five plus two. Okay, we got $27. Okay. So for our first trip go around, we got $27. And so we're going to apply that to our first shopping cart because each shopping cart is six items. Okay. And then we did we mark off everything? Let me I didn't mark off everything. We got corn, sugar, and bacon. Okay. I get everything. One, two, three, four. 
Yeah, no, I can't read my writing. Three, three, six. Let's see. Uh, three. A corn. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah, I can't read my writing. Let's see. Sugar corn. Oh, no, yeah. Bananas. That's bananas. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I can't read my writing. Goodness gracious. All right. So there we go. So we got our $27, okay? And so that is what we are um, working with, all right? Our first few items. And so we'll do it again, okay? So like I said, we had out of $100, we still we only spent $27. So we still got $73 um, left. So we can, at this point, we could go shopping again and do another six spins, guys, to get all the way down to our amount. But like I said, if that's enough for you, like the 20, you want to just go around one time, you can just plop the other $73 in the next grocery cart like that and end your game. Like, okay? So you only wanted to play one time at a time like that and because you got stuff to do. Do your one round, put $27, and then put the other $73. But we're going to play again, okay? Because I like this game. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So I can show you how to play again. Let's go again. All right, so let's see what we get in this time. So we got green and we got 10. So the green is here and then 10. So we get some um, baked beans. So we're going to put 10 beans for our list, okay? We got orange and one. So we get some yogurt for $1. Next row, we got green and we got nine. So we getting some uh, canned, what is that? Some type of canvas, well, I'm not sure what that is. Look. <laughs> We gonna say canned goods, okay? So that's nine canned goods. I don't know what that is. All right. Row number four. We got blue out out two. We got let's see one. Okay, is that a one or a seven? No, that's number seven. Okay, so we got apple. So seven apple. Okay, we got um, our number red is one, and we got a six, so we got cinnamon rolls. Okay, and then our final spin on this turn is, let's see, we got green, and we got a six. And we got another um, can get item. Okay, and that was worth $6. Okay, so that's our list, and then we're going to add up our totals to see how much we collected in that, go in that grocery trip. All right, we, that was a $39 trip for us that time, okay? And so, like I said, we'll put $39 into our shopping trip like that, okay? So that's how it goes, and like I said, once it um, starts filling up on here, guys, like if you roll um, an amount, Roll on something that's already been um, bought in the store. You're gonna um, like have a tally going, like down here, and you're gonna take this off your grocery total and stuff like that. So that's money that's taken off your budget that you have. So if you had a hundred dollars each, each one of these ticks, th that's five dollars that's off your budget. If you roll on something that's already taken, okay. So as the as the game progresses, it's gonna get harder, and you're gonna leave the store with uh, less and less items. <laughs> <laughs> you like how you get robbed at the store, guys? You know, like what did I buy for a hundred dollars? That's that's what it's gonna be like, guys. Okay, because there ain't gonna be nothing left as the game gets full filled up and stuff like that. But that's how you play. But you play as many times as you want to get your so like I did I did thirty nine dollars that time. I I probably could play this at least two more times to get get my full hundred dollars. Like three about three rounds, three to four rounds of going to the store like that to uh, spend my whole hundred dollars. So like I said, it's time invested in the game. You see how fun that was? I, I enjoyed myself. But like I said, here's my grocery list. This is what I bought, okay? But that was fun, okay? I enjoyed that. <laughs> and then here we go now. We're, going, we're at the farmer's market, guys, now to get our produce or just straight up produce, okay? 
So what you're going to do here is you're going to need your calculator as well. And you're going to need a 10 sided die. We're going to set our amounts for our um, fruits our produce. So I'm going to do um, 25 cent, 50 cent, 75 and a dollar. Then do it again. 25, 50, 75, a dollar, 25. So however you want to set your amount. And then like basically what you're going to do is you're going to roll you're going to be adding up your totals until you hit a 10, okay? So whatever you land on. So we got a 2. So 2 is for 50 cents for grapefruit. So add it to your calculator. 1. Watermelon, 25 cents. 6. Eggplant. That's a 50 cent. 6 more eggplant, 50 cents. 9. We got some bananas for 25 cents. Uh, more bananas. 25 cent. Eight is avocado for a dollar. We got six is more eggplant for 50 cent. Three, we got some pears for 75 cent. Nine more bananas. Three more pears, 75 cent. Eight is avocado, a dollar. Five is uh, radishes, 25 cent. One, we got seedless watermelon, watermelon for 25 cent. We got to seven dollars, guys. Uh, pineapple, four dollars. I mean, one dollar for pineapple. <laughs> one dollar, oop, let me say four dollars plus one. So we're eight dollars, guys. All right, six. Uh, eggplant, 50 cent. Five radishes, 25. All right, come on. <laughs> so you might want to have some money playing this game, guys. I have a budget, you know. We almost said 10. There, there it is, $10. There's a zero. So our, our shopping trip is over. And we go to our calculator total. We ended at exactly $9. So we're going to put uh, $9 in our brown produce bag. That's how much we spent. Uh, like I said, that'll be towards our cash stuffing and stuff like that. But like I said, if you got the grocery money, you can put some of the money, say $100 into the farmer's market and then, you know, go back. So I'm put, you know, maybe I start here, do $20 here, then I go back over to the grocery part, you know, for my cash envelope for, for my total $100, okay? That's what I would do, okay? But that makes sense, guys. Let me do this one more time because I do like this game, okay? <laughs> I like all my games, but I like this one too because it's pretty. All right, so here we go. Until you roll, you're going to roll until you get a, zero, a 10, okay? You get all your items. Three pairs, 75. Are we, it's already over. We only got 75 cents that time. All right, so that's how it goes. All right, perfect. All right, so the next game is called The Clean Up Woman, guys. And like I said, I'm gonna set my icons for um, for six, um, one through six. And like I said, I'm gonna have another $20 for um, the stuff my cash envelopes with per week. That's what I normally do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my cash envelopes, my $20. And then I'm going to take my rolls, okay? Roll and say. So eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got some uh like some Lysol. Okay. That one is worth one dollar. Okay. So I still got $19 left to spend. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got some uh, laundry detergent. So that's five dollars. So we're at six dollars. $14 left. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got some, um, we got some floor cleaner. So that's worth $6, okay? So we said we we're at 12, I think. 12, yep. Yeah. 6, 5, 11, 12, yep. Yeah. Okay, we got uh, $8 left. Five. One, two, three, four, five. This one here's another dollar. Seven dollars. Still to go. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bleach is three. All right, we got down to four dollars now. Okay, now that we have four dollars left to prevent us getting an IOU because we got some five and six dollars items, we're just going to mark out a four dollar item and call it a day to end our cash envelopes like that. Okay, so there we go. So now we have $20 of household items stuffed into our 
cash envelopes. But that's how you do So you just get the road across of your icons, guys. So this is what we got. This is what we need to clean our house up with, okay? <laughs> For our household stuff, all right? So the next game is snack time, guys. And this is our vending machine game. And like I said, um, let's see. You set your amount for your items here. Um, we got one through six. I think I'm gonna just do one, two, three, one, two, three for these. Okay. And like I said, my budget maybe for the vending machine at work. I try not to use the vending machine too often, but I mean you can save up for something else if you don't want to do a vending machine. But just just let's say it's ten dollars per week for the vending machine at work, guys. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and roll for our snacks okay so you're gonna start with the black dice to see how many snacks you get if you roll on one it's gonna be one uh, odd number is gonna be one snack and then if you roll two dice i mean even gonna be two snacks okay Cause like i said that's all you need at one time is two snacks at a time okay from a vending machine because at that point you need to go get something to eat you know if you're gonna spend that much money in a vending machine you might as well just go ahead gonna <laughs> go get you something to eat out there <laughs> Cause it get expensive guys all right there we go so we got two so we get even so we get to take two, we get two snacks okay and then we're gonna take our colored dice to see what snacks we are getting okay because they're color coded okay so red so we get a chocolate bar so we're gonna mark off a chocolate bar and chocolate bars were two dollars so we got two dollars gone out of our, out of our ten dollars that we cashed up already ten minus two so we're down to eight dollars okay and then we'll do our next color roll let's see what we get this time blue so we get some water, okay? So our water is another $2, okay? So now we're down to six, $6, okay? So here we go. Let's roll for how many, see how many snacks we get this time. Odd, we get another snack, okay? So just one, roll. What color, what are we getting? Green, okay? Green is cookies, okay? So these are $3 here, okay? So we're up to um, $6, guys, I believe. So three plus, no, three plus four. Okay, so we got set $3 left, okay? And so at that point, you know, because I don't, let's see. We, we can take one roll. Um, we can take one roll. We got $3 left, so we'll see what we'll get. Let's see. Okay, we got I, okay? See what we're gonna get this time. So we got three dollars. Let's see. Orange. Orange is a dollar. So we'll save a dollar. And then, like I said, we get um we got two dollars left. Okay, so at that point, it's kind of like you might want to just pick something in, in case you roll too many snacks you might have to get, guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we gotta take two rolls now. So let's see, and we only got two dollars, okay. So I would just do um, two $1 items then at that point because we only got $2 left, okay? So we're just going to mark off two of those, <laughs> two yellows. <laughs> so you want to roll for your color. So that's that's how you do it, guys, okay? So you don't go over your budget for your cash envelopes that you have, okay? That makes sense. <laughs> All right. Next game, red bottoms, okay? And like I said, this we're gonna do personal spending with this one, guys. So like I said, I usually give myself maybe about $20 a week, okay? We got another 20 going into our cash envelope, okay? Like I said, you can, sa you can save the money as well, guys. You wanna make it a savings, okay? Same situation. If you don't wanna do cash envelopes, but like I said, this I'm, I'm gonna be playing these games on my budget with me, guys. So y'all y'all start watching them, okay? Because <laughs> y'all y'all need games to uh, watch my channel sometime. <laughs> well, here we go. Uh, we're gonna set an amount for. Let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna say. Let's say. Um, let's. I'm gonna say let's say one dollar for each red bottom and we'll say 50 cents for the other colors okay and then when we get done we'll say 50 cents for every pair of red bottoms at the end of our game depending on what we get 
So if you roll eye, guys, we're going to save a dollar. You know, red bottoms cost money, y'all, okay? Like I said, we got $20 to spend, so here we go. Or save, okay? Let's see how how, how it goes. I'm going to use some of this money, too, so I don't get, so I don't <laughs> get confused, guys, okay? Make sure we don't spend too much. 11 that's our first pair of red bottoms, so that's a dollar, okay? So we'll color in some red bottoms. Do, you can do it more neatly, guys, if you want. Okay. One dollar. Okay, four. Even is on the other color, so that'll only be 50 cents. And you can color the red bottoms any color, guys, at that point. Uh, we got some red bottoms, okay? So we'll color red like that. Even, okay, so any color. Even, that'd be another 50 cent, any color. Eleven odd red bottoms. All right, red bottoms, okay. Even, 50 cent going back, any color. And we'll do one more to finish out this row, let's see. Even, that'd be any color. Okay, I'm not going to do the whole $20, guys, but you, you get the concept, okay? So, like, so far we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We got six fifty that we've colored in so far. So, like I said, you'll probably do another, be able to do another row if your personal spending was $20 based on the amounts that I chose, okay? So, like I said, it's just kind of like showing you how much you, you know, got in your personal money envelope kind of thing or how much you're actually saving for personal spending, so, like I said, I think I would do another row, but you can see how many spins you get, guys, okay? So, that's how you do it, all right? So, six fifty, then I play about that amount of time, maybe two or three more rolls for $20, okay? But that's how it goes. But I collected four pairs of red bottoms in the, in the process. <laughs> so, I'm that much closer to getting a real pair, okay? <laughs> Look at it that way, guys, all right? All right, the next game is uh, Nailed It Full Set. And like I said, you guys know how to play this game. So I played it so many times on my channel on Sundays, okay? So we're going to do um, $1 and $2 for our nail money. Wait, wait. Not $1. It, it, all the nails are a dollar, guys. Let's see. Yeah. That's for the tip. You can say you can do a separate amount if you want, like a different tip amount, guys. But mine is gonna be a dollar. Okay, I'm gonna stay, stick with my dollar that I've been playing with on Sundays when I play my book. Okay, and maybe I'll change it, but we'll see, depending on our budget. Okay, like I said again, you know, we we sometimes we have our fifteen dollars to play nailed it, guys. Okay, let's play ten. Let's play ten dollars today. That's all we got. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. We got ten dollars to go towards our nails today. Okay, so we gotta spend ten dollars. Okay, we got orange, and we're coloring two nails on the orange hand. So we're coloring two. All right, we got eight dollars remaining. Here we go. Orange odd one nail. All right. All right, so we got uh, $5 remaining, guys. $7 still, $7, let's see. We got purple, one nail, color in the purple. Okay, so we're at $4 again. Six more dollars. You can spin your wheel too for your color, guys. Let's spin for our color. All right, orange, and let's roll, let's see. Right, so that'd be one nail on the orange hand for another dollar. 
All right, we got five nails colored in, so we got ten more dollars. We can five more dollars to use. Okay. We got blue. That's gonna be two nails and a blue hand. So we color the nails in blue. Right. Yeah, three dollars left. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see what we get next. Let's see. Okay, we two more on a blue hand. Okay. And then we only have one dollar left, so we're just gonna go ahead and apply this towards our tip because we don't want to spin and get the chance of getting the two dollars. We only want one dollar, so we have one dollar left, and then we'll spin for our color to see what color we're gonna color in our tip bottle. All right, we got blue, so we're gonna come down here to the tip for our nail tech, and we're gonna uh, color in one of the bottles down here. So that'd be one dollar towards the tip. Okay, and like I said, you will play this every week. Put a little bit into your envelope to, to save for your um, to get your nails done. So like you should save um, seventy dollars in total for this. So like you put a little bit in the time each week you so you get your nails done. Up, you know you'll have the money, guys. Okay. <laughs> That's how you play it, all right? Gotta love nailed it, okay? It's a classic. What time is it, y'all? Let's, ooh, these games, y'all, these games. I ain't even put a dent in these games yet. <laughs> all right, y'all, party of eight. All right, here we go. So we're going to, let's see. We want to fill this table up, guys, and stuff like that. And if somebody's in your seat already, you're just going to roll again. Let's see. We're going to do 25 cents, I think, for odd seats and 50 cents for even seats. Okay, and this money is going to be used to save for takeout and things like that. All right. Now, let's just see. Like I said, normally, you know, we got $25 for eating out or whatever. So, it kind of, like, depends, guys, what you want to do. Like how you want to set your games based on your budget that you use actually use for the week. Like I said, you can clean these boards off. If you want to just play 25 cents this week for your numbers and you want to play for a longer time, do it that way. If you in a rush, make it one dollar twenty, you know, and two dollar kind of things. For, it's kind of, kind of depends. Like I said, I ain't got nowhere to go, nowhere. <laughs> I have no plans. Okay. So like I said, I, I, I prefer the lower income so I can play more of my games kind of thing. But like I said, these are kind of like, you know, you know, that's $25 that you'll be, you, you know, the actual amounts that you'll be putting into your cash envelopes, guys. Okay. And like I said, you can clean the boards off each week if you want to. But you just determine how much you want to, how long you want to play your games for. Okay. Like I said, this is my $25 for that. So like, maybe we'll, we will do one or $2, guys. That way it won't, that won't take too long. We can actually play the real amount. <laughs> so here we go. $25 we got to spend. Let's let's get to these seats. Okay. Here we go. Yellow. Seat four. $2. Green. Seat one. Odd. A dollar. Purple. Seat five. A dollar. Red seat two, two dollars. Let's see, orange seat five, a dollar. Yellow seat one, a dollar. Red seat three, a dollar. Or you can say the actual amounts too, guys. Like I said, if you got a bigger budget than that because you have a larger family or something like that, do that. And also, what was I going to say? You can spend the wheel for your um, table color as well, okay? And for the seat. Well, not the seat, the table cover. And yeah, I'll probably be sitting the eight side of that, guys. <laughs> we got yellow, okay? So seat yellow, table yellow, and like I said, we roll the eight side of that. I like number one, I want to get nothing, okay? Like I said, y'all, it's early. It ain't even three o'clock yet. All right. Eight side of die. Five. So yellow, we say yellow, table five, seat five, okay? 
So again, another dollar towards my uh, amount. And like I said, I'm just gonna pay my amount into the seats and stuff. And like I said, the next week I play this, you know, we just starting all the games out, but the next week is gonna be harder to sit down, okay? <laughs> Cause it'll be so many seats already taken. So two, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I took all those rolls for $10. And now, like I said, I still got fifteen dollars. I need to play, okay? But that, but that's how you play, guys, okay? You're just trying to uh, fill up the tables. Like this table, the yellow table got more people at this table so far, okay? So the chances are we having pasta this week. We go to the pasta house because it, it's our the probability of that table getting filled up first. Okay? <laughs> you understand? It makes sense, all right? But yeah, but the, um, like I said, the food is on the table. Kind of tells you what you're gonna probably eat out. Of you should be eating out that week. You know, change it up. You don't have to, but you know, it's the idea. All right, so there you go. Like maybe I want pasta. I don't want to sit at the table. You know what I'm saying for this week. I, I want to get. I want pizza and wings this week. I need to try to get at this table. See what I need to do. Okay. <laughs> Y'all figure it out, guys. Y'all figure it out. Okay. So on to our next game, which is the Zoo Pass. And like I said, this is for uh, family fun kind of thing. We have a fun fun envelope and stuff, or you want to save for something fun, guys. And uh, let's see. Y'all already know how. This is, like I said, this is a roll the dice type game. All right. Uh, so let's see. Fun. We we, we can leave it at one and two. Like I said, these cash envelopes, guys. I guess cash envelopes. I'm thinking. I don't really don't have a family fund. I'm trying to see how I can use this from one of my cash envelopes. Or oh, I can make an envelope. Like I said, I don't want to be making envelopes, guys. Okay, just to have, so I can play. Say I'm gonna play a game. So I just have a category. Like like some some of y'all do. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be doing all that. But we'll we'll see where this is gonna go. I don't know yet. Let's see. Uh, we can, this is going to be Jordan's money. We put Jordan's money in this. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to play this for Jordan. For his um, $20 he gets per week, okay? For his allowance. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to roll our colored dice and then our um, black dice to see which one. We pass we're going to cross off. Like I said, this is for Jordan's personal money, okay? For Jordan's spending. So we get um, five and we get the orange zoo pass. So we're gonna cross that off. So that's $5 out of Jordan's budget, okay? So $20 minus five, we still got $15. I can take and roll for his money. So you guys can say the amount or you can do two, the even or odd way. We just gonna save the amount, guys, for Jordan today, okay? So we got $2 for the red ticket, do pass, okay? Six for the blue. Thirteen dollars. All right. Four for the red. All right. Then we got three dollars left, guys. So I'm just gonna call a three dollar ticket. But I'm gonna go ahead. Let's spend for my final ticket. I'm gonna get for the color. Okay, I got a green. So I'm gonna do a green $3 ticket. And so that I have now have the $20 that Jordan is getting in his 20 uh, in his um, cash envelope for his personal spending taken care of, okay? That's how you do that. So that, like I said, this, I'm gonna use this game for my son because like I said, it's a zoo. That's his money, okay? <laughs> for his cash envelope, okay? Cause I wanna play this game. See, I wanna, you know, that's how I do stuff. Then I said this game here is going to be for uh, miscellaneous, okay? And we do $10 a week in miscellaneous, okay? It's probably going to get dangerous um, when these uh, icons multiply, guys. But we got $10 for miscellaneous, okay? Let's put into our cash envelope. I'm going to set my amounts. Let's see. Let's just do, um, let's do one or two, I guess, okay? For right now <laughs> all right and then we'll say we'll say two dollars when the first sewing machine is revealed and then they double and triple okay so we won't get too many spins when it wants to triple guys too many. <laughs> all right so we'll do probably we got ten dollars in miscellaneous so we're gonna do like a couple dollars on here and then we'll save um a couple of dollars for here so we do like six dollars on here and four dollars for our other game because we're gonna play both of these for miscellaneous that's what i said at least okay
Let's see. Um, oh, go for a scratch. Five. One, two, three, four, five. This is our first one here. All right, so we got fabric. Okay, so that's going to be $2. Eight, one, that's five, six, seven, eight. We got the first sewing machine already. That was quick, y'all. Well, like I said, I'm covering these back up because we're not playing for real though. So it's gonna be two dollars for that. Okay. So when we hit the next sewing machine, the icons double, guys. Okay. So we got five. Let's just go one, two, three, four, five. We got a spool of thread, which is a dollar, okay? So we're at $5, and we got $5 left. We're gonna spend two more dollars here, and then go to the next game. Try to spend $2, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got us a dollar. Okay, so we got six dollars into this game so far. Okay, so like I said, we got four dollars left for our miscellaneous envelope. We'll just do one more here, and then we'll spend two dollars at the next game. That's how I'm gonna do it. Let's spend two dollars at the next game. Two, one, two. All right, so that's a dollar. So like I said, seven dollars in total here. So we got three dollars left for miscellaneous, and so we'll come over here. For the six packs of Duco roll. Okay, we got three dollars left to spend here. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to make um I'm right make all my numbers 25 cents, and then if I get a Sudoku, it's gonna be a dollar, okay? All right, so here we go. For six packs of Duco spin and roll. Okay, so we're going to roll for our color. Uh, Sudoku puzzle will be playing first. Okay, we can do we can do both of these dice at one time. So the color dice and one black dice to tell us what color Sudoku and which box first. Okay, we got purple Sudoku box number four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, now we'll roll a second black die to tell us what number we'll be marking off here. Okay, we got four. So we'll mark off our four in our puzzle here, okay? Like that. And then you'll roll again. Let's just go ahead and put, um, oh, we got $3 left, I said, okay? Let's do four, the first four rolls, okay? So there we go. So that's the first dollar. So here we go. Color again. Same box. One, two, three, four. Which one we get? We get number six. Okay, two rolls. Yellow, four. One, two, three, four. Box six, like that. Purple, box one. Number three, so that puzzle right there. All right, so we got our first four dollar in there, full dollar. Next four rows, okay. Oops. Okay, green, box three, one, two, three. Then we'll roll for which one? We got one, all right. Blue, five, one, two, three, four, five. Roll our second dice, three. That's number two, roll number two. Purple, number one, four. Here we go, roll number three. Orange, I mean yellow, box six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we got a six, like that. Okay, then we just go ahead and play our final turn, so our final dollar, okay. So we got red, box four, one, two, three, four. Okay, we got a six. Roll number two. Purple, box five, one, two, three, four, five. Box one, okay. So roll three. Yellow, puzzle one. Number three. All right, final roll, green. So we got uh, puzzle two, and then we got 
number six. Okay, so that is how you do it, guys. And like I said, I make sure you probably can go back and count all these. Make sure it's 12 of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I took 12 turns at 25 cents a piece. So that's correct. So that is my final $3 that's going to go into my miscellaneous to go with the money I spent in um, this one here. Because I said so I spent seven dollars here and then three dollars here. So to play well for these games is ten dollars. And so this is going into my miscellaneous envelope. So they are miscellaneous challenges, okay? So that is that for the cash envelope. So I think I want to end this video here because it's 40 minutes. And then we'll um come back and play sinking fun games, all right? So that is that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hopefully I explain these games. <laughs> you know good enough so you understand how much fun we're going to be having on my channel coming up guys with our new book okay uh please um subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and then make sure your notifications are cut on so that you get the latest updates like i said when these books go on sale when they're available on etsy and things like that when i post a new video okay <laughs> Also, uh, be sure to uh, leave the comments below. Let me know what you think about your game with the game so far. Uh, what like what are your favorite games that you've seen so far as for the, for the cash envelopes? Do you plan on playing them with cash envelopes or as um, using them as savings challenges? You guys, let me know. Okay, but like I said, the goal here is to make budget with me's fun. Okay, like I said, I want y'all watching my budget with me's. I'm, I mean, I'm still gonna do giveaways, but I still want y'all watching my budget with me's because, like I said, the budget with me is the most important video, guys. Okay. As far as like getting that budget together, getting the money right, all right? As long as it be the shortest video and y'all don't want to watch it sometime, okay? But it is good, but like, it, there will always be the budget with me portion first and then we'll get into the games, okay? <laughs> but like I said, there will be games, okay? And that's why they were created to, uh, to play them during budget with me to make it fun, okay? But like I said, watch the um, videos, um, the ads that play after this video and share the video. All right, I'm done here. Enjoy your day. Bye.